Yeah, I'm not sure how far it got. Um, two in. Um, in this case, we're not going to need to make an adjustment. We say, well, the first term is n equals 1. That's the first number in the sequence. Well, 2 times 1 is 2. And that is our first term. The second number in the sequence, well, that will be n equals 2. And in this case, 2n is 4. The third number in the sequence is n equals 3. And so in this case would be 6. And we can see that this is a one-function sequence. I don't have to make any further adjustment. The formula is simply 2n. That means that if I wanted to work out the hundredth number in the sequence, which is the same as saying n equals 100, all I'd have to do is 2 times 100, and that will give me 200. So it's a nice straightforward sequence. The next one, 3, 6, 9, 12, well I'm sure you'll see quickly 15, and then 18 would be the next two numbers. Again, it's going to be a straightforward sequence with one function, and in that case, it won't be 2n anymore, but it will be 3n. When n equals 1, 3n is 3. When n equals 4, 3n is 12. When n equals 100, 3n is 300. Um, and you can work it out when n equals 999. It's much easier to learn the sort of the formula for the sequence than to have to write the sequence out 999 times to get to an answer. So those first two are quite straightforward. Um, it gets a little bit more complicated, but not really for the ones below. We've got 9, 11, 13, and 15. And just like uh, our very first sequence, the difference between those numbers is just 2. If I just put that above, it might help. And all that means is that there's something here to do with the 2 times table, which means somewhere in our formula we would find... Again, 2n. But in this instance, I feel we're going to have to make an adjustment because the first number in the sequence is 9 and 2n only gets us to 2, 2 times 1. So our adjustment here would be simply to add 7. That's just a trial run on the first number, but what we do now is we check it on the second and the third to see if we've cracked it. Well, if n equals 2, the second number in our sequence, and we're looking at 11 for the second number in our sequence, let's see if this works. Well, 2 times 2 is 4, and plus 7 is 11. So it works for the second number in the sequence. Let's try again for the third number in the sequence. Well, we've got 13 down here when n equals 3. So 2 times 3 is 6, plus 7 takes us to 13. So we've cracked it. But this sequence is marginally different, whilst it still has something to do with the the 2 times table, because the difference each time is 2, we've had to make an adjustment function, which is our plus 7 there. I could use that to work out uh, any number. The 457th number in that sequence would be 2 times 457 plus 7. Down here, likewise, we've got 20, 23, 26, and 29. Well, the difference between each of those numbers is just 3. You can easily tell me what the next two numbers are, 32, 35, but what's probably more useful now is working out the nth term. Well, because the difference between the numbers is 3, I know it's got something to do with the 3 times table. So I'll stick in my 3n, and now I'll look at the very first term. Remember, that's when n equals 1. I'll do 3 times 1 to get me to 3, but then I've got to make the adjustment with my second function to get me to 20. And in this case, I'm going to add 17. I think I've cracked it, but I should always check it. So when n equals 2, the second number in the sequence, I'm looking to get to 23. So I'm going to do 3 times 2, which is 6, and I'm going to add 17, which does equal 23, so it's looking good. I'm just going to check it again. This time I'll use the fourth number just to do something slightly different. So when n equals 4, the fourth number in the sequence, we're looking at 29. Well, 3 times 4 is 12, plus the 17 does take me to 29. So here I have the formula for what's called the nth term. I can work out any number in that sequence. I hope you found working through those examples useful and helpful, uh, but if you have any questions, get hold of Home Learning. I'll see you soon, guys. Bye-bye.